Hey there folks and welcome back to Half-Life Opposing Force. We're at the end. Almost the end, well. This is the second last chapter. So this just might be our last opposing force video. So yeah, so the previous chapters weren't that uh, easy on us and I don't think we can expect any uh, leniency moving forward. I'll try and finish up the game in one video, I hope that this chapter doesn't prove to be too difficult for me. What the hell, they're getting shelled. Shit, not these guys. God damn it. Can I go up there? I finally killed the bastard. is wrong with you? I feel like the difficulty balancing is kind of kind of not right in this game like having that those new alien types and these assassins that, as the main enemies that you're going to fight is kind of absurd like in the first game the assassins were like a one-off deal that you sometimes deal with you mostly had to deal with the normal Zen aliens and the grunts but having these like heavy enemies as the main you know obstacle you're gonna face in each level that's kinda dumb okay so that opened up so I guess we gotta go down there hello anybody there oh you fucker shit Fuck me. You can't even dodge. You can't even dodge the projectile. That is just stupid. And look at his rate of fire. It's constant. He doesn't even take a break. How am I supposed to dodge that? I really was starting to enjoy this game, but now it's just a uh, meh. Like, like, look at this. They drained all of my health. Is here. Can I please get some help? Who's that? I 
can't fucking hear you through the window. What the fuck were you two doing? Holy shit. Is that a... That's a bomb, isn't it? Manual instructions for Mark IV thermonuclear device. Holy shit. So what do I do now? Oh, I just press E. Okay. So I guess I uh, disabled a bomb with just a press of a button. Are you going to open this or not? Thanks. What the fuck, Thai man? What the fuck are you doing? Turn that shit off! God damn it. And the gate's closed for some odd reason. Well, since since the bomb is reactivated, I guess I gotta... I think we need to get the fuck out of here. All right, folks, we're, this is the end game. So, uh, no, I'm not gonna stop the video here. Let's, uh, let's move on. Why do I get the feeling this whole, like, thing is gonna be filled with those assassins? I really don't feel like, oh, I see you, bastard. God damn it, made me, made me waste a grenade. Really, really, really hate these guys. Fucking hell. They're made of... I don't know what they're made of. They're made... I think they're made of stone. I think they're goddamn made of stone. Like... Anything I do to them... Nothing happens. They don't care. I can unload a full magazine into them. But still... They still fucking shoot me god damn it all right I think we're I think we're good for now oh hey buddy like he's on drugs. He's really droopy sounding. Oh, I'm, I'm getting pushed back for some reason. Strange. Nice, they're kind of setting up the mood. Holy shit! Oh yeah, that's... Oh, so that's where those fairies were going to. Okay. There's a platform above us. Let's, uh, let's go over there first. Okay, so what do we have here? We got... Two mounted machine guns. This one has this... Holy shit, that's huge. This is so goddamn slow. Oh shit. So... Is, is there supposed to be some kind of... Some kind of strategy to this or am I just supposed to put everything into them? So that was a fucking stupid move. So I was wasting so much ammo into the monster I had to look it up online what to do. And it's pretty simple but a bit time taking. So what I was what I'm supposed to do is shoot him in the eyes 
with these two lasers laser uh, turrets and then shoot them in the center with explosives so yeah let's see if we can beat this monster okay now I'm supposed to shoot him in the other eye Okay, now I'm gonna shoot him in the center like that. Alright, one eye. God damn it, he's spawning. Oh shit, he, uh, he destroyed that. Uh... God fucking damn it. Shoot him again. Alright, let's go down here. Let's heal up a bit. I hope he doesn't open up the eye we shot shot closed. Okay, it's still closed. Gotta dodge that. Oh shit, he slapped me. He bitch slapped me. Alright. Moment of truth there. What the fuck? He didn't do anything. But how do I... Okay. I think... I think we beat him. I think we beat him. <sighs> well, that was a great fucking journey. A very, very, um, uh, very frustrating, but yeah, I enjoyed it. We're back in our copter. Holy shit, we're in Zen. But there is still the lingering matter of witnesses. I admit I have a fascination with those who adapt and survive against all odds. They rather remind me of myself. If for no other reason, I have argued to preserve you for a time. While I believe a civil servant like yourself understands the importance of discretion my employers are not quite so trusting and rather than continually subject you to the irresistible human temptation of telling all we have decided to convey you somewhere you can do no possible harm and where no harm can come to you I'm sure you can imagine there are worse alternatives So, okay. Okay. We have been detained by the G-Man. Hmm. So, yeah folks, that was Opposing Force. I hope you enjoyed the whole playthrough. Uh, I uh, enjoyed the game. Uh, it was it, it started off really cool 
it, it was really good in the beginning. I really li liked the fact that we were playing from the opposing side as a soldier. And uh, the maps were nice. They were laid out pretty good. Um, some chapters were pretty interesting, but in the middle or near the end, when it started to get too difficult, there's one thing. So, if a game is challenging, I like that. It tests you if you're skillful or not to clear a level. But in opposing force, it just got it just got frustrating with how the enemies are set up. Like those giant aliens and those laser shooting aliens are just they're unbalanced. They they deal too much damage to the player. They take too much damage to die, and that kind of pissed me off. So yeah, overall a good experience. I enjoyed it. Um, can't wait to finish Blue Shift and uh, finish up the whole Half Life One saga. Uh, so yeah, in the end, but from what I can gather is after all what we after all we've been through after all Adrian Shepard did sorry Adrian Dankman Jones did uh, we have been detained and we can't do anything about it and that's why fans but I from what I read online is fans are pissed off that all this time in the canon like if 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 Adrian exists in the canon, he's been detained for so long, and G-Man never, ever mentioned him in any of the future games. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos from me. Alrighty then.